Welcome to day 12 of the December of DCC. Today, we're going to be looking at Emily. I'm happy to help you out. Really? Would you? Oh, that would be marvelous, Esmeralda. It's Emily, Sam. So, Emily is fitted with uh, a Lok Sound V5 Micro 58823. That number will be ingrained in your head like it is mine when you've done as many of these engines as I have. Um, so she has everything is in her tender. She's got to keep alive in her tender as well as a Soundtracks high bass speaker. I believe it's 28 millimeter square. I believe. I know it has a square base. Um, so she's got some nice features. There must be a perfectly sensible explanation. Fast my fuckers! Wow! The problem is confusion and delay! So she's pretty loud. I like her. And she's got her season 7 theme. Mm -hmm. So, we'll get it ready to go here. So, Emily was a bit of a pain just because um, getting a connection between her engine and tender was very difficult and being able to disconnect them, which is something I find very important. Um, I just wasn't happy with the, uh, with the way it was working out with my own custom connectors. And um, sorry about the noise, have to move something here. And so I had purchased these really teeny tiny connectors off of eBay. And these are actually much, much better. Um, before, I'll kind of overlay a video of it here as she comes by again. Um, she barely had any traction at all. And while uh, you'll kind of see her still spin because the box and Emily just doesn't have a lot of traction in general. She's much better off now than she was before. Um, because I changed those connectors and they weren't pushing down on her last trailing wheel. So she could actually grip with her driving wheels. And she's actually running pretty well now. The chuff sink could be a little bit better, I'll admit. But, you know, these are based off fictional engines, so, well, the fictional engines that are based on real-life locomotives. But, at any rate, they're still, you know, it's still okay. So, she also has... Oh! The troublesome Chuck sounds. That's, like, my favorite sound. And it works well for Emily because she does not have... Oh, she's going to miss. Because um, she has so little grip. If you do look at Emily's wheels, you can see that some of the paint has actually been pulled off. I put this stuff called Bullfrog Snot on her, on her larger driving wheel. I should have tried it on her smaller one first. But I put it on these, on both sides. And the problem that I had was it clumped up and um, it didn't stay flat on her driving wheels because she doesn't have a groove like a locomotive attraction tires does. Um, so trying to actually fit her with traction tires, I thought that the bullfrog snot would help. And it's supposedly it's supposed to work pretty well, but for me, I haven't had much luck with it. And uh, it just tore paint off of her wheels, unfortunately. Um, let me, let me, let me turn her off. 
just so that we can talk a little bit. I decided not to go with a light because she rarely was ever seen with a light. It was kind of, would be a little bit tough to route a light all the way through her. Um, may add a tail light at some point, not sure yet. Um, if I do add a tail light, I probably would end up adding a headlight, but I just haven't gotten to that point yet. We will see. But for now, Emily's pretty much done. Um, she also has her season eight theme and the Emily song, but I'm not going to play those because I don't, you know, I'm trying not to get copyrighted. So even Emily's season seven theme was a bit of a stretch. So I've rambled on for long enough. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, day 13, we'll be doing someone a little bit different. Uh, we'll skip over the last couple steam engines I have for now and move on to some of the diesel characters. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.